Hey, what's up guys? It's just me chilling in the closet. Probably the biggest influence is my wife is a teacher, so she's on her feet all day and all of her coworkers are on their feet all day. So they gossip about what is the most comfortable shoe because it's really important to them. And she told me about these right here. Now these shoes are old. This is the Ultra Boost. I'm not sure what they're called, like the generation two, three or four maybe, or the DNA. They're, they're more of the original one. And I'd say this is the first ultra comfortable shoe I've ever owned. And these are amazing. This literally changed my perception of shoes and I highly recommend them. They do make an Ultra Boost 21, like I think it stands for 2021. And they look different. They have like a bigger heel and stuff, but I tried those and I didn't think they were comfortable. Let me know what you think in the comments. If you've tried both Ultra Boosts, is one more comfortable than the other? Because at least for me, these are awesome, but the other ones, I returned them. I didn't even like them. This is the Nike Invincible Run Fly Knit. And my understanding is that this foam right here is called Zoom X. And it is a proprietary foam created by Nike for running, ironically. And it is insanely comfortable. So I'm actually not that big of a shoe expert. I'm all about the comfort. But I think this Ultra Boost is the foam that Adidas made. And I'm sure Nike was, you know, seeing how much sales they got and spent years developing this foam. And I can tell you firsthand, this stuff is like futuristic. It's so weird and bizarre. Like one of my favorite things to do, which is kind of weird, is I'll like tell my buddies, it's like, hey, try on my shoe. Just because I love seeing the reaction, they put it on, they're like, whoa, whoa that is weird. Because it literally feels weird. It almost feels like you're standing on a small trampoline. If you haven't tried these shoes, I would just recommend when you're out and about at a mall or something, go try them on in the store and just see how they feel because they're way different than anything else I've ever tried in my life and they are super comfortable. You know, at first they're a little weird and you don't know if you're going to like them, but after wearing them for a day, especially when you wear them and then you try on a different pair of shoes, it's hard to go back. I mean, they're literally that comfortable. I would love to hear back from you guys. Have you tried these shoes? If you have, do you agree they're the most comfortable shoes out there? Or do you think that there's a more comfortable shoe out there? You can see, in my opinion, this is an extremely ugly shoe. You'll look at the different ones that I'm putting on the screen right now. I think that this one looked the most normal. And even then, I mean, it's definitely looks like a dad shoe. It's weird how it has this huge base in the back with the heel. So definitely wouldn't say it's a pretty shoe or recommend it based on looks. But if you're all about the comfort like I am, this is crazy comfortable. All right, so I want to highlight what I think is the biggest issue with these shoes right here. I would say that these have five to six months of actual use. I don't run in them, I don't do any sports. I've actually had them for seven months, but because I wear other shoes, I would say they've had about five to six months because these are the ones I like to wear the most. So hopefully this will pick it up on camera, but the foam is starting to get cracks and it's starting to deteriorate. Nothing crazy bad, but you know, it's coming undone and just starting to look bad. And when I originally filmed myself jumping around that was on march 30th so it didn't have that in those other clips and i'd say that's the biggest downfall these ultra boosts right here i can't remember exactly when i got them but they are pretty darn old and they've held up a lot better but i do want to be clear these are by far the most comfortable shoe but just be aware those are the trade-offs is durability the way they look i don't think they look nearly as good as these shoes and they're pretty darn expensive with all that being said though, when these are completely shot and done, I need a new pair of shoes. Unless I find a more comfortable shoe, I'm gonna be buying this again. So for me, the trade-offs are worth it, but I just wanna make sure I'm upfront and clear about that. But enough about shoes. Something that's really gonna affect how comfortable a shoe is, is the layer in between the shoe, your socks. Now I've tried a lot of different socks. I know a really popular pair of socks right now that are uber expensive are these Bomba socks. And I must admit, they are very, very nice. They are very comfortable. But I found a sock that's significantly cheaper. I just bought some more on Amazon Prime Day, and these are really comfortable. I'll put a link in the description to these socks. There's a left foot, there's a right foot. These are amazing. You gotta try them out. I've tried a lot of different socks. I'm not gonna bore you with all that, but I can tell you from trying at least 15 different socks, these are by far my favorite. They're cheap, and they're really, really, really nice. All right, and then some people would say the most comfortable thing to wear is nothing, like just be barefoot. And I can kind of agree with that, but let's talk about sandals. I got my first pair of these. You can see, I really like them, wore a hole in them. They're just rainbow sandals and they're pretty um, standard sandals other than the fact that they're insanely comfortable. 
you know, I never really was a sandal guy until I got these. And if you haven't tried these and you like sandals, in my opinion, this is the most comfortable sandal. I actually don't like the little thing there in between your toes normally because, you know, it rubs up against your foot, doesn't feel good. But I don't know what they did. They just nailed it out of the park and they're pretty durable as, as uh, worn out as these look. I still wear them today and they're still super comfortable, but be careful. Don't order them on Amazon. Um, I would throw a link, an Amazon link, but I did order some through Amazon and I'm like 95% sure that these are fake. This like turns my feet black. It doesn't feel the same. I don't think it's leather. Um, so long story short, there's a lot of knockoffs of rainbows. So make sure you get the real deal because what I'd hate to happen is you take my recommendation and realize these are the most comfortable sandal and then you end up getting some knockoff like I did. I got tricked and these are crap compared to these. All right, so my wife did buy me some new sandals since I was filming about these ones that I thought are fake. And after getting straight from Rainbow's website, these, I am really confident these are fake. And if they're not fake, well then it's just weird that Rainbow makes the black ones so much worse than the other ones. The only difference I can really see, I'm sure there's more, is on this little toe part right here, it's got Rainbow written on it, where on this guy, it does not have Rainbow written right there. The other thing is this does not feel like the kind of leather that this does. I got these, I never wore them because I didn't like them. The instant I got these, I stopped wearing these because it's now summer and this is really comfortable. I just love how it conforms to your foot and the way it feels. It's nice not to be constricted in a shoe, but also if you do like the support of a shoe and whatnot, shoes are good. So let's talk about these right here, these elastic laces that I have because you might notice on all my shoes, they're not the stock laces. And this is a big thing when it comes to comfort, at least for me and all my recent shoes, I get these specific laces to make sure I'm maximizing comfort as well as convenience. I don't have to tie my shoes, but I'm not giving up much because they're still supportive and comfortable. And I'll put the link down in Amazon. They come in different colors. You can see I got the black ones here, but it's just nice because they have elasticity to where they keep your, your shoe on nice and tight and it gives it nice uh, comfort and control like as if you did tie your laces, but you actually don't need to tie your laces. I just love that, you know, it's literally just feels like a slipper. I can just throw my shoe on and I'm good, but it's still like gripping my foot pretty good because these laces are tight enough, which you can adjust and dial them in. Same thing with this guy right here. It's just so convenient, but you know, I still have, you can see it's like pulling there, you know, tightness as if I did tie my shoe. So if you want ultra comfort, I would definitely recommend that. All right, I covered the shoes, I covered the socks, the laces, I even went over some sandals. Obviously, I'm really into comfortable footwear. If something new's come out since this video that's really comfortable, please drop it in the comments to let me know about it. I really appreciate you watching this video. Um, like, comment, subscribe if you think it's good content, and I'll see you in the next one.